You choreographed a YouTube video that went viral, viral receiving 4 million views in 2016. Um, you were 15. Yeah. And then later that year, you, you choreographed another YouTube video for Run the World, which I think is Beyonce. Yeah. Doesn't say here. Received 8 million views. <laughs> How the hell? What? There's a lot of buildup. <laughs> There's a lot of dramatic don't, pauses. Don't, don't. Well, I, I'm just like, I, I look, because I think I look at 15 and I'm like, you know, I'm like, oh my God, what happened to my pants? You know, oh my God, like, what am I doing? Uh, I didn't know what, I was 15. I had no maturity. I didn't, I was just like, no, there, no brain, your frontal cortex or, or it's not formed. You, you don't think of as the things you think of later and, but you're moving at 15 and you're, did you, what, how did that happen? I mean, how did you say, this is what I'm going to do? Is it was your idea? This is what happened. So my friend Taylor and I, Taylor um, Swift. No, oh. I wish. Love her. <laughs> my friend Taylor and I, we had uh, been working with a choreographer named Janelle Janestra and we started, we had this idea where like, there's so many dance videos out there where people are, you know, we're in class. It started, that's when all the social media stuff kind of started pumping around. Like when I was like 13, everyone was filming their classes now, putting them up on YouTube. And it was just like gaining a lot of traction. And our choreographer, Janelle and Taylor and I were like, okay, how could we make this different? And she, she was like, why don't we start doing dance concept videos? Let's tell a story through dance. And I'm like, that's a great idea. Let's do it. Let's have a message behind each one and let's go for it. And so the first one we did, it was really just for fun. The two of us, we called ourselves the Fraternal Twins. Uh, we kind of looked a little bit similar. And she needed, she needed less anesthesia. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Go on. And we filmed the first one and we it was to IDF with you. And, What's that mean? Um, I don't frick with you. Oh, so you could... So acronym that, that shit but you can't say it no, huh no the, the thing is i grew up dancing to i look back at like videos on youtube when i was like 12 dancing to the most like crazy music but at that time in dance like i never listened to the lyrics because every move for us is on the beats so i look back at like videos and went 12 dancing to the most like insane songs and i'm like no wonder in the comments people are like why do you have a 12 year old dancing to this Makes sense. Yeah. Sometimes I've seen stuff like that. I'm like, going, they're letting their kids listen to this music? Yes. Well, guess what? It was the same thing when I was younger. I was listening to Two Live Crew. Everybody say, hey. I won't say it, but they said some gnarly shit. And uh, listening to NWA. Frick the police coming down with authority. <laughs> That's totally it. And I would beatbox. Hey. <laughs> Austin Thompson. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. Oh, all right. Um, so <laughs> then we did this, the one for Beyonce, Run the World. And that one was just about women empowerment. And that was one of my favorite ones, just the message behind it. And it just, we went to sleep and I swear it was like, we woke up and there was like 3 million views. And we were like, wait, what? Like, what? But how do people even like, I put some funny ass stuff up. Yeah. You're and I'm funny. Like, but I'm like, thank you. Yeah. But I, I'm like, this is funny. And it, but for some reason, I just don't, I guess I don't have that. Did you already have a lot of followers? N From the first video, we kind of already had like a fan base. That one kind of grew over time. Like within a week, it was just like, whoa, this is crazy. And like, good morning, America. And we have these people reaching out to us to like come on the show. And we're like, wait, what? This is just nuts. Did you get any money for all the views? So it wasn't on my channel. Um, Did they so, split it with you? Well, I actually don't know if those videos were monetized because- mm, Four million we, gets you some money these days. Yeah. Four million, you probably would have gotten $15,000, yeah. $20,000 for that video. Yeah. Crazy, right? It is wild. Did Beyonce call you or- message you <laughs> she posted us on twitter and like put up our video and i think that's how that one kind of sparked she loved it she sent it out and boom yeah and that started getting you some attention yeah and that's kind of and how you're I dancing built... i need to watch this we need to go watch this yeah are you a, are you great in this is it pretty cool 
I yeah, you should watch it. It's very it's very funny because people are always like, Larson, you're this very like you know, soft spoken individual. Shy, kind Shy. Of, yeah. yeah, kind of just like, you know, and then you you dance and it's like this beast comes out. You're it's on like fire. We don't even recognize you. I'm like, yeah, you know. That's where that passion comes out, isn't yeah. it? 